So Conor McGregor has just bought into the BKFC. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to my I hope you're well. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell for all future videos. So Conor McGregor, the MMA star that we've wanted to see back in the octagon for so long. He's supposed to be fighting uh, Chandler soon. It's been announced. And uh, yeah, we wanted to see him fight for so long, but obviously he's been out. How good is he going to be? We thought at some point that he might venture into the BKFC when he entered the ring and did a face-off against Mike Perry a few months ago, but maybe this was just a precursor for him now investing in BKFC. How does this stack up with his relationship with UFC? Or the UFC trying to get a little foothold in BKFC as this rising combat sport style? The thing is with BKFC, and it's one of those things, you... You kind of attracted to it because it's quite gruesome. But if you look at the stats, if you look at their their safety record, a lot of their fighters receive a lot less injuries than conventional boxing or certainly in MMA as well. So the, their safety record is really good. However, it looks quite brutal because there's obviously no gloves. You know, they've just got the wraps on. There's no gloves. And yeah, they get very bloody, especially some of them, you know, are really quite vicious. Now, what I will say about what I've seen about BKFC, and it's very popular over here in the UK as well, but certainly, of course, uh, in uh, the United States, in that the quality of the fighting, the quality of the boxing, let's say, is certainly not the level of boxing. No way near, of course. And I would say that this is MMA-level boxing, stand-up fighting, because you just see the way they stand. But it isn't quite it isn't quite boxing because you can hold on to the opponent a lot more. And, uh, you know, it's more like a bit of a crossover between boxing and street fighting a little bit. So, you know, from that point of view, it's kind of quite realistic stand-up fighting. It's, it's quite entertaining to see, but it's just a new, relatively new thing in terms of a show as something that you would want to pay to watch. Now, it really depends whether you want to see that kind of brutality, whether you want to see this kind of happen. And obviously, either between the men or between the girls that are fighting there as well. So, interestingly, Conor McGregor has bought into it now. He's kind of waxing lyrical about how great it is, how much he wants to get involved. I mean, look, can we imagine that Conor McGregor is ever going to get out of the UFC, let alone be allowed to fight in this? And once he's done with the UFC, well... The world is his oyster. But then again, he's right at the end of his career. What are we talking about here? Conor McGregor getting into, what, exhibition fights or or big money fights or, or fights that, you know, let's face it, he's past his best and somebody else, you know, would easily beat him if he went back into the MMA. Are we talking about Conor McGregor against just really big name ex-fighters or older fighters or, or even fighters that are past their best as well? That's probably where I'm seeing him go. Going. You know, he's going to have to do these two fights with the UFC. Then he's going to hopefully, if for him, or you would imagine, have to come out of that contract. Whether UFC are going to give him those two fights, toot sweet, who knows? I mean, it, it, it's taken so long just to even have the chance to fight let alone have another fight after that. What is he going to do? Will he even go into the big UFC? and have a scrap in there. I'm not even sure that's going to happen as well. This could just be a purely a business decision. He's bringing his name. He's bringing his public uh, persona. He's bringing the uh, promotion just to hype up the value of BKFC. That's probably most likely where it's going to be. That's probably why he stepped into the ring against Mike Perry. Not necessarily for any kind of proper standoff or proper face-off. It's more of a big business decision. If he gets into the ring against any opponent in the BKFC, that would be quite entertaining, don't get me wrong. But they're going to have to make it a huge pay-per-view event. Otherwise, he could easily go somewhere else and get a much bigger return on any fight that he does. The only reason I can see him going into the BKFC, if now that he's already invested in it, and it makes a much bigger business sense for him to fight in there, to promote it, to build up the business. That's the only reason. Otherwise, there's no reason he should fight in there. He should go and do some exhibition fights against whomever. He should probably get onto some kind of fight card in Saudi Arabia or headline a fight card in Saudi Arabia where he'll probably earn 20, 30, 40 million, 100 million just from doing that. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. But Conor McGregor is born to be BKFC. What does this mean for the future of the BKFC themselves? What does this mean for the future of Conor McGregor? Who the hell knows? 
we lie and wait. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notifications bell for all future videos, and I will catch you again in another video coming very soon. Bye now.